that struck me about the series, which, which answers this question, is there's a great deal of content in the series. And I think when we look at the way we did catechesis in the post-conciliar period and what needs to happen now, I would focus on that word of content. We need to provide our young people the substance of the faith. So we spent a great deal of energy in the late 60s, 70s, 80s, even when I first started teaching high school, even in the late 80s, talking to our students about how they feel about the faith. What do they feel? What are their experiences affectively? And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because obviously part of ongoing conversion is an understanding of how you feel about the faith in terms of what it, what it means to you kind of on a visceral level. But I think we have discovered that without understanding what the faith is, what, what is it we actually believe, what's the content, it's hard to have a response positively or negatively. As a result of giving our energies on that level, where our kids now is they don't know anything. So there's, it's hard to ask them to respond to anything, positively or negatively. The series provides just that. It gives them content, and the church understands that now. And it's interesting, I think, if you look at people who've done catechesis over the last 30 years, they, uh, even if they're not, if you will, orthodox, unorthodox, liberal, conservative, whatever, they fall on the spectrum. Everyone is agreeing now that people need to know. They need to have actually information, content, substance to respond to. And then we can maybe move to, to what you feel, what you think. So uh, one of the things that struck me about the series that I, that I really loved was both the, the, the very specific questions that require specific answers. So there's no, this is how I feel. This is, it's there, it's in the text, you can find it. But then also some questions that do require reflection and do, re, do you know, express that we're dealing with young people who have grown up with the expectation of being able to express themselves maybe differently than generations past. So it provides, I think, both dynamics, if you will, that I think our young people need. But for me especially, and I, and I really am, I'm excited about I really am. Um, and I'm actually trying to find ways to actually just use it because I love the structure of it because there is so much meat there, but it's done well. You, know, you take the catechism, which I've done before. I've done for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. I've done it for freshmen, sophomores in high school. I've just gone through the catechism. And you can do that. It's not the most enjoyable. It's not the easiest way. But it certainly does provide the content. The beautiful thing about the series is it does that in a way that's accessible. And especially the area for me that's always interesting is the sacraments. It does a beautiful way of presenting what it is the sacraments are each individual one specifically, why we need them, what they're about. But again, that, I guess I can't repeat enough the importance of the content, the substance. The, we, something you can really sink your teeth into, if I can use that phrase. If indeed you're engaged in this, particularly the teaching of theology and religion on the high school level, you're engaged in that, you make that conscious choice, you're going to quickly discover, sadly, that there is a paucity of resources out there. And so you spend a good deal of your energy creating things for your students. Um, which is appropriate to do. But here you now have this wonderful series that has done that for you. So then the best of your energy isn't spent, in a sense, trying to reinvent the wheel, but relying upon this, utilizing it as a resource, as a tool. The information is there. It's, it's compact. The questions are, 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 are truly probing. To know that the high school students are going to mull over this, chew over this, study this, ponder this, is, a, is great. There's, there's a lot of there for them. And as a teacher, to know that that's there and not have to then expend the energy to do that means you can expend more of your energy helping the students through the work, helping them understand that. Again, that information and that formation, both of those realities going on at the same time.